Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another nice day to trade in the market. Okay. All right. So today, um, watching a VYGR has some pretty good news. Uh, it got a license deal with Pfizer. Let me see. Mm -hmm. License option agreement with Pfizer for next generation tracer. Hmm. I'm going to see how it behaves throughout the day, but I may be looking for this, looking at this one for a swing position instead of just a scalping day trade. I think pretty much everything has some type of catalyst today, I believe. Let me see. Uh, LMFA, um, LM funding further expands planned cryptocurrency mining business. So it's up a little bit on that news. We have KOLD, no news, still marching up after taking a huge fall. So fighting a downtrend there, don't like that. And we got Acer out here. Uh, Acer's news, Acer Therapy, wait, let me start at the top. Relief Therapeutics and Acer Therapeutics announced a FDA acceptance for filing of new drug application. Uh, Acer Therapeutics hits near four month high on FDA nod for new drug application. Okay, so they have a new drug, Acer 001 to treat urea cycle disorders. Okay. Well, it's like right now, VYGR is, is the top mover, but it's not that low of a float. It does not have any shelf registrations on it as well. It may be a chopper throughout the day, which I'm expecting. I, I want to kind of wait for a fall on this one uh, since it's such a low price and the bottom is 250 right now. So you're risking maybe a dollar or something, but I want to continue reading on these uh, agreements and things that they have. Because I guarantee you, with this still being this low of a price, there's got to be something fishy in that news. So I'm going to continue reading and everything on TD and uh, on Street Smart Edge as well. Right. So let's see. Something's got to be up. Gotta be something. Screening all statements. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Make this a little bit bigger. This transaction highlights the potential of our Tracer platform to identify novel AAV cap capsids that target desired cells and tissues with greater specificity uh, at lower doses and with fewer off-target risk than the conventional AAV serotypes. Okay. Our collaboration with Voyager will provide Pfizer with access to additional AAV capsules that may help further advance. Okay, what about the money though? What that money looking like? Let's see. 
Under the terms of agreement, Pfizer will have the right to evaluate novel capsids selected for uh, central nervous system and cardiac uh, tropisms from Voyager's Tracer platform. Okay, so now we're getting to the money. Voyager will retain global rights to all licensed capsids. Okay, so they're going to retain the rights. Voyager will receive 30 million up front and is entitled to receive up to 20 million in exercise fees for two options. Uh, exercisable by Pfizer within 12 months of signing. In addition, Voyager will be eligible to earn up to 580 million in total development, regulatory, and commercial milestones associated with licensed uh, products incorporating the two undisclosed Pfizer transgenes together with uh, a Voyager licensed caps capsid. Voyager is also eligible to receive mid to high single digit tiered royalties based on net sales of Pfizer's product incorporating the licensed capsids. Okay, so they're receiving some money. They're receiving some money, money, money. So let me continue to read. Okay, I just read that one. Yeah. Pfizer deal. Hmm. So apparently they're still keeping a lot of power in this deal with Pfizer. They're going to get that 30 mil up front and milestone payments of up to 600 million plus product sales based royalties. This one may be a swing for me. I may not, I may not uh, scout this one. I don't want to waste any capital. Shares of Voyager rocketed trading Wednesday. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, definitely look for this one for the long term. And no shelf registration on it, too. <clears throat> Can't ask for any more than that. So BYGR, I'll be waiting for this one to fail so I can start building a position uh, down low on it. Acer. LMFA failed off there as well. Let me go ahead and look up VYGR again. Wait a minute. Oh, I looked up Acer. I didn't look up VYGR. Um. Okay, VYGR has a shelf registration from uh 2019, but that's a little bit out of range right now with the price that it set. If they in that down here, it's just too cheap. They won't get any money. So we'll wait for it to get pushed up. I am going to be looking to swing this one, though. I thought it didn't have any shelf registrations. It does. I was looking at Acer at first. B-Y-G-R. Float of 32.35 million. Okay, get me some uh, statistics. Float of 22.52 million, so 22 to 32 million. And okay, so we got 22 at Fin, 22 at Yahoo Finance, 32 at FinBiz. And then short squeeze says it's 25. So somewhere between 22 and and uh 32. Put that in the notes. And we're about to get this party started. Make sure I'm unmuted. Okay, yeah, I'm unmuted. Doing all this talking. 
So it does have a shelf from 2019, which is almost out of range. And then float 22 to 32. And what was that short interest on it? Short interest 3.36% or short percent float. So that means for every 100 shares, there's three shares being shorted. And there's 25 million shares um, shorted. I mean, 20 flat, 25 million shares in the float. So let me see. 25 mil. Divided by 100. So that'll be 250,000. So times that three, 250. 250,000 times that 3%. So 77,500 shorted. It's not a lot shorted. Not a lot at all. Both shorts. Interest. Good morning, Lauren. Ben won't be streaming today. He's uh he's um handling some business. Oh. LMFA going down. Have about 15 minutes to the bell. Right now, my main focus is uh, y, uh, VYGR on a fail. I want to see it come back down. It's got some news with Pfizer. It's going to get a lot of power. It's going to be moving about 600 million. And it's going to be getting receiving royalties uh, if its product, however many units of its product is sold. So... We'll definitely be on hard watch on that one. Everything else, LMFA, it's just crypto mining. It's probably not going to get the attention uh, back from v, uh, BYGR. Coal has no news. It's just going up for no reason. Acer um, had some news on urea cycle disorders, but... I don't think that's going to overshadow VYGR here. Right now, let me check the daily chart for where it could possibly face resistance up here. It's got the 200 moving average at the 495. It's currently at the 406. So we got we got what could be some resistance up here at the $6. right there and we have a little bit of a flat top here at the nine dollars now this one is not that low of a float so it may grind throughout the day and it has um it's almost out of scope for its uh shelf registration which was in 2019 i'm waiting to, i'm kind of waiting to see what kind of action it gets on the open because of that shelf but yeah Distance. Can you take a look at AXDX? AXDX. DX. All right, AXDX. Um, let's see what's this news. Accelerate Diagnostics announces agreements to exchange approximately fifty-one million in principal amount of its two point. 2.50% convertible senior notes. What other news does it have? Let me go to TD. Let's go over here to TD real quick. AD, AD, AX, DX.
All right, let's look in here. <clears throat> Can we see any news? Antimicrobial um, accelerate diagnosis receives notice of allowance of US patent. Huh. This one's a. Uh, doesn't look like it has a, a nice uptrend yet. Uh, what, what will be your catalyst here? Uh, what's what's put gonna push this one up? Cause I see, let's see, inline sales. What's gonna push this one up? What kind of news? Because it looks like it's on a downtrend right now. The low is uh, 4.53. Trying to push back up. Uh, let's jump back over here to Street Smart. Okay, it's fighting a little bit of a downtrend. Maybe. I wonder will it double bottom down here at this 5.12 point. 5.14. Looks like it can form support there at the 514 or let me get one of these bigger charts. Like right here could be a point where it tries to bounce or right here, 528. But right now it's kind of like out in the open. It did form a little bit of support right here, but it the possibility for it to come down here fighting that downtrend is possible. Now if it comes all the way to the 514, it may... <laughs> I don't know if it'll stop going down, but it's got some supports down here that it could double bottom off of any of these. So the 516, 527, 539 level, I would like to see like a retest of any of those, which right now looks like in aftermarket, looks like it's going to retest or either gap down under this. We'll see if any volume can come in on that. How much volume does it have? 4,000 shares traded right now today. So yeah, you definitely have to kind of see where it wants to go on those three levels. Good morning, Daniel. Really? Read the first part of your message and it's all hospitality. And the second part is all pistols, shotguns, and M4s. Why do you choose violence in the morning? You're just watching it for a possible squeeze. Nice. Well, it may squeeze on a bounce. If it retests and, and recertifies one of those levels, maybe. But I don't know if it has the catalyst for that. Um... Jay Kratz, what's up, man? Um, Jay Kratz says has newer S3. So does it have a shelf? I didn't look at that. Let me see. AD. Oh, yes, it does. It has a shelf registration from... Uh, uh january i did not check that so it's definitely in scope but it's a cheaper stock so for them to enact it with it being that cheap they're they're gonna really be in need for money they usually wait till it gets around 10 to 15 dollars or higher and then they'll blow blow the trumpet All right.
But right now, today, man, my main my main focus is VYGR. It has a shelf from 2019, which is almost out of scope. I want to see this thing come down. I don't care what it does in the open. It can rip up or whatever. I want to see it come down. Has Pfizer news. Has a contract um, going to be moving about $600 million with Pfizer. Uh, and it's going to be receiving royalties per unit that they sell, that Pfizer sells of their uh, product. But we shall see. Acer fading on down there. What do you mean, Daniel B? I would smile if, if you said something like that, but I would know that it was coming from Satan himself. So maybe I wouldn't smile. Get it, let's get it. Have about, oh man, that time flew. We got about four minutes to the bell. Waiting to watch once I want to see this thing absolutely get destroyed by the shorts. Looking to build a position above this 200 moving average, which is at the 275 right now. See if it can come down and make some lower lows. Good morning, One Life. Yeah, Ben won't be streaming today. He's got some business to attend to. Love for BYGR to crash and burn so I can get some low entries on a swing position. I've already marked off some resistance levels up here uh, that may uh, become a problem. $6, that nine twelve level, that $14 level. But at least it, it looks like when it does go up, it doesn't just uh, rip back down, it grinds up. So maybe it'll be a grinder upwards. But I definitely want to wait for some solid supports to start building a position on this one. So waiting for it to fall. I really don't know why cold uh K O L D is always going up. I don't know if it's I, is it a is it an energy stock? Why is it always going up with no news? K O K O L D. Not seeing it on uh Bam East. Not seeing it on Bam S E C. What kind of stock is this? 
uh is it it's a pro shares ultra short bloomberg natural gas stock okay so it's following natural gas huh is natural gas doing that good what's up scarface Yeah, VYGR, I want to see crash because I, I believe it can go higher for a swing trade with that catalyst. I want to see it absolutely flash down. It can do whatever it wants to. Okay, so the market just opened. Opened. Let's jump up here. Where'd it go? Is it already red on the day? Oh, man, come on. Let's see. VYGR, where you at? Okay. Can we get a dump off? I want to see a big sell off. Come on down, buddy. Don't care if it wants to run through the roof right now. This is only the beginning. LMFA. Uh, still looking like trash. It had that crypto mining news, which, you know, crypto mining news, it's okay. Definitely going to have to see some more volume. F-A, F-A-B is what you're looking at. One life, F-A-B. Um, F-A-B, is that right? Maybe did I type that in wrong? First multi alpha dex ETF. Oh, got you. I'm out, I'm out here typing in tickers. Okay, LMFA. Not looking too healthy. Yeah, whole market is red. K O L D going up for it's a natural. It's following natural gas. So what is what is a natural gas ticker? Gas. Um, uh, natural gas three times. Gas energy natural gas. What is a gas ticker? Maybe oil. Nah, that's down. That's not gas. Um, oh, there's one. Ong. Ong's been moving up forever. It's super expensive. Or it was. Taking a big dip down there. Oh, let's go check out the spy. Let's see what kind of depth is out here. Mm -mm -mm. The spy getting a little push up there, but boy, 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 fighting a heavy downtrend. Uh, XOP. Okay, let's check out some of those X. Uh, SWN. SWN. They're all red. Why is everything red? What's what's wrong with the market today? That's down XOP. Red. Everything red. Just red. 100 bucks. Yeah. DIA. Will it follow suit of the, the spy? DIA coming up there. Probably going to get pushed back down. It's meeting the 200 moving average there, but not looking too good. Where's the other one? BYGR. Uh, 
BYGR dumping, dumping, dumping. Exactly what I wanted to see. Just dump, 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 dump. It's got that 200 moving average up there, which is blocking its way from the $6. Dump, dump, dump. KODL, BTBT fighting. Let's go look at BTBT. You bought a thousand shares of SWN at 327. Yeah, BTBT is losing that fight. Huge top and tail there. Uh, at the 200 moving average, looks like is what it's struggling with there. 200 moving average is at the 12.69. And if I can get SWN to pull up, that would be great. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're, you're definitely doing good on that one. 327. Boy, 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 you must have been holding that for a while. Woo! Wow, nice. Nice position. Um, BTBT. BYGR, man, needs to fail. Stop trying to come up. Needs to fail. Gonna get a nice little range here. Got the pre market highs there, the 414. The range is very uh, looking like it's getting smaller. So, 414. Will, will it get the longs trapped in here? Got this resistance up here. 15 minute, will it pull a green to red? Pulling a green to red there, pop right back up. Got a little buy up there. Can it stay under the four? Come on, I wanna see this thing crash. Yeah, sheep's been sheep has been pushing through the roof. I really did not expect it because when Ben pointed it out to me, it was flat. And I was like, Ben, you're crazy. I'm not gonna touch that. And he was like, Man, I'm gonna get in. He's doing good now. It's just, man, I don't know. I like logical positions. I think too much. That's what it is. I think too much. VYGR, I need you to absolutely crash. Come on, big boy. Got a bottom down here, the $3 I want you to get to. And maybe even touch this uh, 275 will be nice today. So I can build a position. This stock's constantly pushing up with natural gas. Hasn't given any kind of pullbacks just yet. The spy, did it reverse? Okay, still struggling with that 200 moving average. DIA. It's also doing the same, struggling with that 200 moving average. These may, these may take a little dip. They both they have a bottom of the 340. Can that 340 break down? Come on, VYGR. I'm gonna need to see you crash. Crash and burn. It's got a little what seven 
378 right here may be a hold point. I want to see that break. I want to see that 378, that top right there, break. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in the shorts. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Scarface. That's why I was waiting. I want to see this thing dump closer to this 200 moving average because with that news with Pfizer, I mean, it's really good news. And I just don't see them enacting a shelf registration from 2019 right now on a $3 stock. They're not hurting that much for money. They're about to get a bunch of money from Pfizer, apparently, maybe. So it shouldn't just be a, you know crazy move down just want to see it start cracking get get back to that 350 level actually the 59 ema on the 15 is at the 368 love to see that thing come down cold is still pushing up there i hate this stock it just pushes up no news just natural gas Okay, I see the SPY is back up to 430. Then it start to break down. Let's see, what are we watching? BYGR. Yep. Very, very weak sentiment. Will it break this bottom of the three third or the four thirty fifty eight on the spy needs to break? And that three forty needs to break down. We need to go ahead and see those three thirties and uh four twenties, four twenty nines. <laughs> dang you have moderna is 60 and sold how is moderna doing moderna uh come on where is it moderna nope mrna moderna you had that thing at 60 bucks Woo. Boy, boy, boy. Well, I don't even think uh, Moderna has any shelf registrations still on it. They probably canceled them. They don't need them. Oh, they do. They have an automatic shelf registration on Moderna. But, I mean, why use it? They're making money. And that's what I think is going to happen with uh, VY, whatever that one was, VYGR. Once it finds a nice, a nice bottom, I want to see this thing crash out. Got down here and tested this level. Nice little choppy stock. Can it form a higher low? I want to see some lower lows come in. Needs to get below the 70. Outstanding shares and look at Pfizer's. That's the difference. 
uh, Moderna's outstanding shares and Pfizer's outstanding shares. M R N A. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's heavy. Let me see Pfizer. Yeah, Moderna is crazy heavy. 400s. Oh, okay. Pfizer has 5.60 billion. Hmm. But Pfizer is also a lot cheaper. Let's see. Moderna. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So this one's pushing up a little bit. I wanted to trap those longs and get pushed back down here. I believe we can do a lower low. I don't think it's over with yet. And again, it might be. Use the 393 as an out. Which I may end up doing here. I wonder, can it push? What's the range on this one? Move from the... 393 up to the 404. Yeah, I don't think this is a scalper. This is more like look for a swing. Look for a good entry for a swing. KOLD finally turning around. Look at this thing fighting for sense. That's, yeah, I want to see this thing explode down. Get back under that four dollars. Somebody wants it down there. I know I do. Going back red on the day there, back under the four. Come on, hold under that four. Shorts, you got this. All we need to see is a breakdown of that 395. Start pushing down. Let's go, shorts. Put your hard hat on. All right, let's see what else. Uh, looks like the spy is pushing up a little bit. Seeing those 31s pop up there very briefly. Looks like it's about to crack over this uh, 200 moving average on the 15 minute. 200 moving average is at the 431.32. Yay. What does it want to do? Same movement over here on the DIA. It's not looking good on the five minute though. All right. Pushing on up there. I know there's some people trying to scalp this one, but this is not a good one to scalp. This one's the way it's fighting in between cents. Ah, uh, I'll wait. Waiting for this thing to be back below that four. Is that a double top? The high 412, 412. That is a double top there. See if we can get some push back by the shorts <clears throat> back under the 405 or not. Okay, there's the 405. Can we hold it under the 405 and get going downwards? Like it wants to get up there through that 10. Seeing some huge share si si sizes at the 10. 22,000 shares right there at the 410. Pushed it back down to the 4.5. Can we get a break of that 405? 
That would be magnificent. Four oh six. There's the break of the four oh five. Hey, come on, push it. Keep pushing it, shorts. You got this. We wanted to meet the graveyard. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all got this. Y'all ever cheered the shorts on for a better price? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Getting down here to this level that I had mapped out before. Knew it had it in it. What is Grome doing? Grome. What kind of news is on this one today? No kind of news. Let me check TD. No kind of news, just a movie coming out on Grown. Get down there. Needs to break the three seventy five. Get down through there. Yes, let's break that three seventy five here. Let's get down there. 377, 37, there is the break of the 375. We want to see a hold under that 375 now. Can we hold it down? Nice. Grown also got a nice little pull back there. Big topping tail on the five minute. K-O-L-D finally pulling back as well. Uh, the spy looks like it's breaking down into the 29s there. DIA should be following suits into the 39s. Almost there. Break of the 340s right here would be, would be nice. So a very bearish market again today. Wow, held up that level, didn't it? Hmm. How many minutes does it have on this candle? Okay, so it's tried to go down three times in a row. So we will see if it can come back up. Green on the day would be the 401, break back over the four. It's got a nice little bottom that is pulled back up above a couple of times. We'll see if it can hold that bottom there. Uh, got seven minutes until the close of this 15 minute candle. Don't see a lot of buying coming in. I see big red bars. Uh, Grome is jumping up there. So it has moved from the three. So this movie must be a great movie. Uh, this CGI animated feature centerpiece of new intellectual property franchise must be a great movie. 
because it is absolutely getting ramped up here. I wait for a pullback on it. It's the best looking one today for scalping. This five minute candle is about to close. Yeah, I don't trust it either. I want it to go on down. I want to see it back down here at the 200. With that Pfizer news, I'm like, look, man, let's get it. So let's see, can it get down through that uh, 370? It's got five minutes left on this 15 minute candle. I want to see it start attacking the uh, getting out of the 370s. It's below VWAP. Got a lot of work to do to get back up there. VWAP is at the 393 right now. I like it to just pull it down. Again, holding on this level. Rome is absolutely killing it. Grom. Okay, getting a pull back there. So it came from the 325-ish area and now went up there and touched the 425 area, so a dollar. What kind of resistance can it face here for? Let me make this bigger. It's got some at the 465 there, resistance. Oops. 465 and it looks like it has some right there at the four dollars so we'll see if it can hold up the four right now it's on pullback mode then it has a top up there of the seven dollars almost Ooh, whoops there we go all right we will see what Grom wants to do. BYGR. Yes, breaking down. That's what I want to see. Just force your way down. Get on down there. Find you a new bottom. So it did break that top there. And I'll put that as resistance now. Resistance. So now we just want to see how far it's going to come down and start basing out. Right now it is almost 9 o'clock or almost 10 o'clock Eastern. Acer popping back up there. Came down to the 260s. I don't know what that one can do. It's fighting a downtrend there. Popping back down there big. Getting off the scanner. But this one is the last one. So let's see if we can get some good moves on this one. I doubt it. Yeah, Scarface, that's what I was looking at too. And that's why I'm glad I didn't try to do any kind of scalps or anything up here in this level. Uh, I really don't want to see it curl right now. I would like it to just, you know, fall all the way back down here to the 250s <laughs> for a rebound. Uh, it's got a little bottom there. Maybe the 350 level will be a bounce point for it, but I am not going to buy it at the 350. I want to see it actually form a support somewhere. 350s. Then 325s. So we'll do quarter dollar since it's a smaller uh, range on this one. 325. Right now it's just up, up there struggling around the 75. And if it touches the 3... I'm not going to touch it. If it comes all the way down here to the three. That's that's a lot of movement down. All right, who else we got out here on the scanners? 
cold coming back still not that volatile not impressed with that move acer popped back up there but you know grom still around here struggling this uh five minute counter is about to close in like 15 seconds Not really giving a whole lot of pullback. Yeah, this movie's got to be amazing for Grom to be ripping like this. Will it go red here? Will it break the body of this candle, 415? Okay, pop out there. Will the shorts hit it? Mm, they hit it a little bit, but not a lot. Looking for the more, more buying volume to come in here on that break. Can they get the 445s up there? 440s. Not seeing any kind of 40s over here on the bid. I see 33s. Can we see the 40s? There's the 40s on the bid. Pushing up. And there are the shorts. Are the shorts going to be able to push it back down to maybe the, the 25 here under this uh, previous level? The 430 is the top. Will it hold the 430s? This pop out was 430 up to the 4. So a 10 cent pop out. Not the kind of range that we look for on these. So BYGR. You still dying out here? Yep. Okay, so uh again we got these three levels, quarter dollar levels, three dollars, three twenty-five, and three fifty. We'll see. We will see. Getting a lot of sell off. All right, Grum. Look at Grom on the monthly. Uh, let me go ahead and add a monthly one. Monthly. Yeah, I mean that's a big that's a big difference in the time. I mean, it's 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 not incredible on the monthly, you know. At this big rip up here to 19. Yeah, that's just too it's that time frame's too big to try to play off. Let's look at the weekly. Came up here, failed off. Went flat. Just does not look appetizing. Will it start breaking down these 30s? It's been hold, uh, the shorts have been holding it down here for quite a while. It should snap under the 30s soon. Don't see any kind of real buying pressure coming in. There's some 30s, 35s. Can we see the 36? 36, 37, 40s. Saw the 40s very quickly, but don't see it here on the bid. There's the 40s. Mm. Yeah, that's a lot of snapping. I don't like that. It's a lot of snapping. Cold. Still doing this thing out here. Just not really seeing uh any of the things I, I we usually look for. BYGR has a bottom here of the 359. Don't trust that bottom. How much room is this? Uh, 70 up to the 90. So it'll be a 20 cent move. Not really worth it, in my opinion. Okay, Grom is jumping up there again. This is the previous high that I marked out the last time I was watching Grom move. 
will it face rejection up here at this uh 451 that previous high Four fifties. Will it finally break that level? Came down here, looking like it wants to. You're in VYGR. Oh my gosh. So you took the bait. You took the bait, One Life. Why? I I told you it's got to come down here and touch like three fifty or something. You took the bait. Ah, oh, One Life, and it's under it's under the uh it's under the uh fifteen minute nine EMA. So I'm surprised you took that trade. I want to see it touch that 350. See what kind of action it gets off of that. Yeah, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it form a little bottom here. I don't trust it yet. What was the low of this? The low is 358. That's a very odd number to stop on. Got a nice little flat top up here that's been tested one, two, three times. I'm good. I think this thing still got a little bit down to go. Let's see if it can transition. It's, it just hasn't met. I, I wanted to at least touch one of these lows before I before I get some confirmation. So I'm going to wait. Even if it starts going up, I'm still not going to get in. I want to see it touch one of these uh, quarter dollar levels. See if it's, it's going to find quarter dollar support. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you, One Life. But I'm telling you, man, the supports is what I'm looking at, not just the EMAs. I wanted to come down and actually touch one of these supports. It's the nine cents away from the 50 here. Grom looked like it pulled back a little bit. Oh my goodness, Grom didn't pull back. Okay. Well, uh, Grom may be the play of the day. This is not giving good pullbacks yet, but I do like it. Like it more than VYGR right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on this one. This one's pretty much uh, doing the moves that we like to see here. Extending, very, very wide range. Came from the 327. This was a four, 430 up to the fives. Mm-hmm, okay. Did it just halt? Is that a fake halt? All right, so Grom is halted. We will see what it wants to do here. I can't believe it's moving like this on a CGI animated feature. It's got to have some other news. The Pirate Princess. 
Grump Curiosity Inc. says the Pirate Princess will debut fall 2022. I just don't understand why it will be moving that big on a movie. Um, they have 2.4 million users on their, their platform. I'm just not seeing it. Just not seeing the, the reason behind this one. Let's go back and see VYGR. So it came down here to the 358. Still waiting for it to give another move down. <laughs> yeah, that could be the reason. Let's see this thing get killed by the shorts. Will the buyers pile in? Will it pull a green to red move on this uh, 15 minute candle? I want a low risk trade. This is not low risk. Will it go back under the 70s? Let's see, 368. Man, that's a heavy, man, that thing's getting heavy, man. Going red there on that candle just a little bit. How red will it go? Will it break the 70s? Breaking the 70s right there just a little bit. Just a little peek through the 70s and then back. Trying to get a little green. Yeah, I do not trust that one. Grom, uh, what time is it going to be opening up? Grom, we got it opening up at, uh, it halted at 10.08.54. So it should be opening in just a minute. 10.08.54. So 10.12.54 is when it should be opening up. Let's see what kind of action we get on Grom. Will it give us any playable action? Grom opening up in about 10 seconds. Should be opening up any second now. Is it longer? Okay, so this may be a 10 minute halt here. Grom 10.08. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind, never mind. It was supposed to open up at the 10.13.54. Five minutes. I'm tripping. Just got a one more minute. One more minute. So on this 54, it should pop open. Um, One Life, I believe you. I actually believe you. Let's see, the 54. About to pop open. Bam. Okay. Will we get a splash down? Woo! Pop up there. Looks like we're about to get some red action. Nope. Can it hold the 70? Uh, popped out of the 70s kind of quick. 
Will it break down this bottom here of the 520s? Can it hold those 520s there? This movie's got to be amazing. I got to see this movie. The Princess Pirate. I got to see this movie. Yeah, time and sales. Those uh let's see what those sizes are looking like. I see a lot of red on the tape. A lot of green on the tape. Can we see the 65 start to hold? 50 got pushed through. Okay. What is this drop gonna look like? Have a bottom here. Five five twenty ish. Bouncing there. Can we see it hold up those 25s here on uh mm -hmm. not looking too likely. Trying to get down there to the 25s. Can it touch it? Can it get back into or back under the 35s here? There's the 35s back under the 30s. Yeah, okay. I think the problem with VYGR is that all the attention is about to come over here on this and VYGR is going to end up dropping because of it. Need to see it back below the 30s. Yeah, I definitely got to see this movie. Getting this kind of push. This movie's got to be like for killers or something. Can we break that 530? Let's get that 530 break. Looking for that 530. Come on down. You know you want to. <laughs> One life. <laughs> I don't know if it's a, I guess it's a, it may be a remake of that MSEC. Uh, I didn't know there was a 1944 one. See a breakdown of this 530, man. Not really giving me the setup that I would like. Plenty of volume. Holding up these levels, but it's making me nervous. It's slipping towards that 30. There's a little slippage right there. Getting some of those stop losses. Can we get some stop losses below the 30 to start uh, coming, coming through? It's looking very heavy here. Will this be a stop loss cascade past the 30? 30 is like the line in the sand that I know that I would have if I was in this. Tried again to push it up there. Couldn't get it to go again. Will we break back into the 30s? A lot of hopes and dreams on this one. Back Breaking back into the 30s very quickly. Popping out of the 30s. Seeing the 42s on the bid, can we start breaking that stuff down? Okay, very quick pop up. That red bar is growing, growing, growing here. 
So will this be a 530 breakdown cascade or, or stop loss cascade? Ugh. Oh, they're holding on with tooth and nail. So this five minute count is about to close. Close quite, uh, got a lot of selling pressure, but didn't go down. So this would be buying the high though, if you're gonna buy up here. Slipping back into the 30s again, 36. Can we see the 35s? 30, 35s. Yeah, I think this one's gotta slip, slip under the 30s here. Huge, huge green, uh, uh, red bar on the five minute. Yep, here it comes 530 cascade. Let's get it. Let's go, shorts. Put your foot down. Hammer time. There's so much pressure on this thing at 530. And then look at these sizes have de decreased. Where's the volume for the buyers? There is no volume up here. So it's probably gonna get nasty real quick. <laughs> they keep buying it off that 30. Somebody wants to keep it above 530. They're gonna get blown out. Uh, oh, look at that size at 530. <laughs> Bruh, go back, go back and look at the time and sales on that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I saw it on the time and sales. Rewind the time and sales and look at the bid and the ask. Uh, there was 130,000 share position at the 30. They got blew through. Oh my goodness. Well, uh crucifixion time has come. Oh boy. BYGR, let's go watch this. BYGR has a nice little bottom down here. Oh boy. So got a nice little support level. BYGR trying to make its way out of the dirt. Would like to see one higher low that will work for me. Wow, wow, wow. I told y'all it's about to be a cascade at the 30, because that's where I would have put my stop. Well, actually at the 29 for a little bit of slippage. So this thing has moved up almost 10 cents so this thing will be a grinder throughout the day for sure so we got a halt going up we got a halt going down hopefully nobody got caught in that one or at least you had your stop in the right position apparently that was the right position for uh 5 30 because everybody literally put theirs there okay so back over here to VYGR. Let's go check out the SPY as well. SPY came down, popped back up off of the 427s up here to the top of the 430. DIA. Did almost a mirror image of uh, the SPY. So we'll see about that. I knew that movie couldn't have been that great. Um, still waiting for it to touch one of these levels down here. <laughs> yeah, Tony, some days you got to sleep in, man. 
Cause today, boy, that was that was a bad move on Grown. That was an absolute trap. Absolute trap. So the volume is falling off or has been falling off on the selling pressure. You see these are these candles are still getting 2 million shares traded. Would like it to follow the plan and come down here and test the bottom one more time. Red is good goodbye the dip. Oh, buy the dip if if you like the stock. Yeah, but grown that movie I mean, how many people would buy the dip on that movie news? Unless, I mean, I got to see that movie. I got to understand why people lost their souls today. Must be a great movie. Let's see if this thing can come back down. It's tried to go up three times. The 375 is becoming a problem for it. One life, are you still in the? Are you still in VYGR? Because you probably, let's see, if you got in down here somewhere, could have made like a good ten cents. I actually want to see Grom open up. See where it opens up. Let me see, what time is it supposed to be opening? Grom halted at 1021, 26. So should be open up at the 1026, 26. Should be open up uh, in just a moment. 1026, just a couple of seconds. Let's see how this opens up. Am I off again? Or is this a longer halt? Halted at 10.21.26. No, this is a longer halt. This is definitely a longer halt. All right, so let's go back to BYGR. BYGR finding some problems up there at the 3.75. See if we can break this bottom and go come down here and touch one of these uh these quarter dollar levels. Start forming some real real uh support. Was this a double top? The high was 380, so this is a double top here. Can it break that 380 here? 378. Can we see the 379s? 380s. Don't want to see it back below the 75s here. It needs to break that double top of the 80. At least get 81. Seventy-eights. Seventy. Can we see the 79s? Not seeing it on the bid. 78. A bunch of green just came through. Let's see. Can we get the 79s? There's the 79s. Got to break the 80. At least get the 81. There's the 81 touch. So now let's just, uh, uh, let's, wow. That was a lot of rejection off the 81. Come on now. Stop playing. Got a bottom here of the 368. Needs to hold up. So it got it barely threw a wick up there into the 81s and got some heavy rejection. I see some share sizes coming in here. 10,000 uh, we got a 10,000 stack around this uh 7071 area. Let's see if it bounces off that 7170 area or will it just dive through it? Seventy and seventy one needs to hold in the seventies. Quite heavy here. That's two failures up there in the trying to stay in the eighties.
uh what time is Grom supposed to be opening up? It's um thirty six twenty six should be ten minutes thirty six twenty six so we got a little bit of time to go actually wait 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 not thirty six thirty one twenty six yeah thirty one twenty six is the open if it's a ten minute halt anyway back over here to v y g r knee is struggling here struggling to get back to those eighties. 74s can we see the 75s don't see any 75s here on the bid there's 74 74 99 75 okay let's trying to hold up those 75s it's tried to go up one two three four times will it break that 81 getting up there to the 81 and another failure it's got to hold the 81 Does not need to break down below the 75s now. That would be a very bad sign. VWAP is at the 85. It was literally five cents away from a VWAP break, but it's struggling to break. So 81, 82. Just getting held down there under VWAP. 15 minutes, uh, 9 EMA is at the 371. Big rejections there. Don't want to see it back under the 75. If this one, if this one goes red, there's just there's just a short sentiment across the board. Because this one has great news. Come on, 81, 81. Get that 82 up there, 81. Wow, they're holding it down so hard. That should have broke. That should have broke. There's no reason that shouldn't break the VWAP. Wow. That's a dis that's disappointing right there. Back under the 75 is gonna be a no-go. Seventy sevens on the tape, red. Will we see the seventy sixes? This is just a struggling stock, man. Uh Grom just popped open. Did not realize it popped open, popped lower. So halted here at the 484, opened up at the 450 down there. And yeah, apparently that movie just could not hold up. A lot of profit takers, a lot of shorts in on this one. All right, so let's look at BYG. Okay. So it's getting back up there. This is just, this must be a grinder. That's the only reason it's acting like this. The volumes come down 2 million, 2 million, 1 million. So the volume is out, is leaving as well. Don't want to see it under the 375. That's going to be a big little, that's, that's a quarter dollar level. May see a little rip down here through the 75 if it does. See the 76 on the bid. And it's almost the it's almost the same setup as what we saw on Grom, except it's already under the VWAP. It's already in that descending uh trend. So we need to see it break that 85. Um, let's see. How do stocks open higher or lower like that? People have orders already set. Well, the halts 
are to keep the volatility manageable. So let's say, I, I forget what the percentage is for a halt to occur. I believe it's like 10% or 15% or, um, is it 15% of a stock's, a stock's total price that it gets halted? I forget, but whatever it is, is to keep people from, so think about this. If the shorts piled on and there was no halt, they could push that thing down to a dollar without it coming back up. But a halt allows those shares to get balanced. And so when those shares balance out, you know, uh, the price is moving without, I guess, I guess uh, the way they explain it is the value of the, of the product or the security is changing uh, without us being able to do anything about it. So that's why when you get caught in a halt and it's going up, you're like, hey, I'm in a good position because maybe the value of the, of the ticker looks like it's getting up there to the 85s. The value of the ticker is going higher without you even realizing it uh, because you're stuck in the halt. But when it's halted going down, fear, panic, frustration, all those things push that price to the limits. And so you get those those lower opens. But some people buy the bounces off of those. Let me go to Grom and see if anybody bought the bounce. Uh, Yeah, some people, once it gaps down like this, they look for this bounce here. It looks like it double bottomed there at the 434. But it doesn't look like anybody's willing to buy that bounce. Ah, they're going to let it die in peace. RIP. What are we looking at? Yeah, yeah. Making the mark making a market to catch up. Yes. I hate the market makers. Well, sometimes I love them, sometimes I hate them. Got up there to the 385 VWAP just again failure i don't like this i don't like this pattern so we got a confirmed bottom here of the 358 if that 358 breaks it's not gonna be good looks like it's about to pull a red to green uh one life did you um did you end up taking profit on this one or or, or uh what Because it has touched VWAP and failed. So I'm feeling the shorts gaining superpowers. If it goes under that 375, that's going to be the next cascade. There's 375 getting touched. 372, can they push it all the way under the 70s? An immediate bounce up off of that 375. Still holding. Okay. 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 Bravery, I see you. So immediate buy up off of that three seventy five. So that may be a new point, a new uh, higher low there. So maybe I can move these. Maybe it's not going to get down here. So maybe three fifty, and we'll see if it can double bottom up here as well. May not get back to that two hundred moving average. See how it plays. Sixteen thousand share position right there on the seventy sevens was there disappeared. Might have got bought up or filled. You know, I forgot I left this thing on the weekly chart. I knew something was wrong over here on this daily chart. I was like, why does it look like this? Because I knew when I was looking at the daily chart, it had gapped up. I was like, this thing hasn't gone anywhere. Okay, so back to the daily. There we go. Now, that, that makes more sense. So 
So you could have got a nice little, uh, about a 10 cent winner on this one before it takes you to the grave. Want to see it actually break down to 75. 74 is there. Get those 73s. Looking real weak. Um, did they get news or something? What is this? Okay. So yeah, they're saying uh street Wall Street tumbles, uh oil prices, bond yields weigh on sentiment. I talked to I talked to a friend of mine. She was trying to get into investing. She just got started. And I was like, you know, there's safer, safer investments, you know, you can take or whatever. But uh she she was ready to start uh day trading and uh she jumped into CEI around a three dollar level. I told her, look, um they're portfolio builders, so you can you can actually paper trade before you use real money. And boy, this drop here, this drop, I know she's feeling that one. I don't know. I didn't even, I didn't even, like, see, I wouldn't even shown up on my scanners. I just don't like those types of stocks, but hopefully she sold because it is not looking good for it. Grom still pushing on down. So today, today is another one of those days that it's just a bleeding market. Let's look at the spy. Spy pulled back up there a little bit, came down, pushed back up, got a little flat top here to 431. Will it rip through that or will it fail? on this resistance and then DIA does it have a flat top as well not really it, it came up even lower so we'll see Okay, so it's got this lower low. So what is the risk factor here? How much could you risk here? You have down here to the 358. That's why I would not want to see it crack. And then, hmm. And the range is getting smaller and smaller under the VWAP. So could it be preparing to, well, Looks like it's already starting to try to break that 70. Made a lower low there. Will the 70s hold up? It looks like it has a little bit of a trend as well. Let's see if, if this trend line makes sense. It's a little bit of a downtrend there. See if it pushes down through the 70s to the 69s. A lot of weight in the market today. Coal. Now, I kind of like this. Kind of. But it's just not a wide enough range. Uh, 58 up to the 75. Close down 50. 64 up to the 80s. So it's kind of closing down that range there, but it's also fighting a nice downtrend here. <sighs> Could 
could this be a pennant pattern? Or nah? Let me see. Draw trend line. It kind of looks like a pennant. I don't know. I don't know if that's accurate right there. Kind of looks like a pennant. But maybe, maybe I'm blindfolded. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. Isn't VWAP a rap song? <laughs> Why is the VWAP so important to you? Um, it's just an indicator that I use, um, uh, to, to, uh, to gauge the overall sentiment. Uh, are people willing to buy higher prices of a stock or are people willing to buy a lower price of a stock? Um, let's see, let's see here. Annie potentially, One Life says Annie potentially getting ready to squeeze the shorts. Let's look at Annie. Possible, possibly. Uh, only a 5%. Let's see. Why do why very wealthy people doing investments with return expectation of three to ten percent per year, and why poor people expecting five hundred to a thousand percent return per year? Tell me who is more dumb. Grom is done. Yeah, Grom is. It's gone through the floor. Um, they be. I don't look for a thousand percent returns. When have I ever said that? Ever. I don't know what you talking about, One Life. Okay, KOLD. Looking a little happy here. Could it be positioning for a squeeze? I'll play it small just to give it give it a little go. Let's see. Can we see those? There it is. What in the world are you talking about? Oh, this is like a futures. Oh, it gave me a little gave me a little warning before I entered KOLD. That was my first time trying to trade it, so it's more like a futures stock. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like you're about to let me read that I, I don't let me do one share and see if it'll give me that message again okay uh this is a inverse exchange traded product um i have to agree please take your time to review risk of investing leveraged or inverse e etps okay so they gave me a whole warning before i entered that so do i want to agree um i don't think so i don't want to i don't want to take that on i'm good okay so what was the other one waiting for this one to start this one did hold up down here once again very tight range very very tight range here volume has absolutely leapt out of it Let's see what it wants to do. Uh, One Life said his target is about to get hit. <sighs> Framework production never ever took any money from his trading account. He's just feeding his account from YouTube income. Target. Target getting ready to get hit. What is your target, uh, One Life? Are you planning on the four dollars, or I guess it'll be four dollars from here? But that's a 
That's a nice little push. It's going to have to get some real volume behind it to get that four. Can it stay above those 80s? First target reach, nice. Mm. Back up there at those 85s. Why is the 85 such a problem? Just break them. Like this thing has catalyst. Just break it. So, got through that trend line. Why is the 85 so hard to hold on this thing? Eighty five is a little bit of a struggle point. I see seven thousand share position there at the eighty four at the on the bid. Okay. They said they're trying to hold it up there. It's almost back green on the day. Just a little struggle. Be patient on this one. Needs to hold above those eighties. Stop looking so heavy. Fourteen thousand share position at the eighty three. Thirteen thousand, kind of going down a little bit. Want to see some some bigger size jump there at the eighty three? Fourteen thousand share position. Trying to hold it up. Holding it. Okay. Nice little grinder on the day. Hmm. Stay above those 85s, buddy. You got this. Go ahead and pay one life some good money. 86s. Can we see the 87 spill on? Mm, 85s, 84s, 83s. We'll see 82s. Okay, still holding that level. Yeah, one life is in from down here uh, somewhere in this consolidation. Getting a little action there. What's the volume looking like here? One million. Such a such a slow mover here. Three sixty three average. Yeah, you you're doing good, you know. Nice twenty cent gainer.
A little bit of buying pressure coming in there on the 15 minute. 390s. Okay. So another little 10 cents. You'll see the 91s here. That buying pressure coming in there. 91 should get clipped. Yep, there's 91. Thirteen thousand share position there at the nineties. Was that a double top? High ninety two, ninety two, ninety two. So a little double top there at the ninety two. X E N E is coming back. Let's go look at that. $31. Daily chart looks okay. Up 6%. Ranges from the 30 up to the 31. Let's see. 30, 50 up to the 31, 10, 50 cents. 31. Some nice little moves there. Back over here to BYGR. Okay, so it did pop out of that level and break that double top there. Fifty thousand. There's a stack at the nineties there. Wow. On the bid. Definitely going to push a little bit higher. Let's see if it can hit those 92s after it finishes this little pullback. 92s, 93s, 94s. Oh, oh, okay. So are we opening up now? Is that what we're doing here? Okay. So we may be looking for some plays here. Looks like it wants to open on up. Ah, the amusement park has just opened. Let's get it. That was a very nice entry, One Life, at that 363. It was it chopped around for a while, but you definitely got a nice entry. Hitting that $4. So let's see if it wants to play ball today. Up there to that four dollars. Three seventy five stop. Let's see what this pullback looks like. Definitely. So it hasn't broke pre-market highs any today. So that's what it's trying to do. Pre-market highs are up at the 415s. It's only 15 cents away.
Will it pull a green to red move? Pretty much under the four would be going back red. We'll see what it, what kind of action it wants to give here. Three ninety nine, ten thousand thirteen stack at a uh, three ninety nine, thirteen thousand stack. Will it get knocked down or will it go ahead and go? Looks like it wants to go and test. Trying to hold up those four dollars, at four dollar level. Yeah, it needs to bust through four. Going back red on the day. What do you mean, One Life? You know what? I, I feel like y'all don't understand that there are millions of traders around the world that have millions of strategies and it's like i i feel like y'all are kind of narcissistic in a way that you're the only one on the planet you and db <laughs> i'm glad you made money man you have a strategy you put it to work good job Four oh one, man. Those four dollars. Four. Look at the size over here with the four. There's a forty six thousand share position there that needs to push through to get through the fours. Will it push it back under the three ninety fives, or will it continue to push green? It's back red on the day. It needs to come on and get that push. Thing be, I can't stand you. I promise I can't stand you, bro. Oh my goodness. DB. DB, did you get into this uh trade as well? Did you uh did you capture this trade as well? What was your entry price, DB, on this trade? BYGR. Oh, okay. Well, then, why are you talking? You didn't take the trade. You saw the same charts that we all saw. Why didn't you take the trade, DB? Why? I mean, you saw exact. You don't use indicators, so you saw exactly what One Life saw. Why aren't you in the trade? 5,000 shares. What happened? Why? Why, DB? Why? DB, you, you snake. All right, so it got a little double top there. A little bit of a double top. Uh, we'll see how far it wants to pull back.
<laughs> Probably. It's kind of playing with playing with people's lives here. We're going red to green, green to red, red to green. Not really having a chosen direction. Giving a little move down. Will it crack the 95s? It's got a stack at the 96. Needs to get back over and go ahead and challenge that double top. Maybe not on this counter, but maybe the next one. The high there is a 404 double top. That was a nice little... uh. 30 cent ripper for uh, one life. Being very patient. Using his strategy that he's he's uh, formulated. I like it. I like it. Scarface says, I trade scared, but my profits are fearless. I like that. Look at the flagpole on the 15 minute chart. Hmm. Let's see, it had this little trend line flowing up here. Can it break that 404? Four oh threes, four oh twos. I think it's gonna break that four oh four. I think it can. There's a did it just triple top? Yeah, so 404 is a little bit of a problem. I think you can get through it though. With the little push, a little buying. Just does not need to get back under that four dollars. Okay, seeing a little pancake there. Back at that $4 struggle point, literally has four cents to break out. Four cents. Seeing the $3.99 on the bid, should see back over the four quickly. Get back over that four. Okay.
BYGR finding a little triple top there. Wait a minute. You were you were cooking chocolate chip cookies? I thought you were cooking mushrooms. Grom all the way down there back to the four dollars. Lost all of his profits on the day. I haven't seen anything that's set up like I like it, so didn't take though didn't uh, jump in on anything there. How far can you push down? Going back red on the day. Got you. Man, Lauren is a chef. Certified chef. Cover all your nutritional needs. Oh man, cereal is my choice of drug. I take it in a needle form. <laughs> now I, I eat other things. Just, I mean, it's when whenever I whenever I want to really really cook something, then I'll then I'll put it down. Just a fat person at heart. Let's see. Yeah. So I had that little triple top up there. Mmm. But that was a nice little, that was definitely a nice little profit take there. If you uh if you saw this pattern and what and like this pattern. So good job to one life. Getting on in there and getting it done. And some cookies and mushrooms. Mm. What kind of cookies are they again? Uh, One Life says a buy area of the 394 to 385 for a test of the high. Uh, it's, it continues to play around going red to green, green to red. I don't know if it's going to test that high. It might, but uh, it's got two minutes left on this um uh, this pullback here. Yeah, Lauren, that's Lauren's husband, Mister Rob. Three ninety twos. Chocolate chip, man, man, man. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I um, I do have a problem with chocolate. Uh, it makes me really sleepy. Like, like uh, yeah, very sleepy. So if I'm gonna eat them, I need to just go lay down. Just, just go, just be done for the day. <laughs> Uh, but I do like me some chocolate chip cookies. So 
so it's coming on down here 15 minute got this trend line is it going to go ahead and break this trend line could not work its way back up there to the uh, pre-market highs still red on the day kind of getting a little squeeze there but looks like the sellers are like yeah we've had enough had enough of this stock okay Could not stay green on the day. Back to that 85 that it's it tried so hard to hold up or tried to get through. I don't know if the shorts are going to allow this one to get back up. It's out of scope. Three seventy five is that final out. 375-ish is where we don't want to see it pass. Nice support level. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Four oh three resistance. So it's got a range in here. 375 waiting for it to figure out what it wants to do does it want to dive or does it want to come back up getting a little push there so I could risk the 375 on this one if it continues to hold this trend like a nice 20 cent risk let this candle close up though kind of see where it wants to end let's look at the volume on this candle so it's got a million volume on these candles pretty much all day
Will it go under that 85? The low is the 86. Getting bought off that level. Let this candle close. Still pretty red on the day though. Last time I traded stock that was red on the day, it didn't go so well. That's a lie. It went well. Uh, it just didn't move as much as I wanted it to. Didn't get to any profit target. Um, This is the buying area for the test of the high of the day. Um, I don't know about all that. Um, let this candle kind of close up and then we'll see what's the what's the uh, buying area. 385. So it stopped right above this area that it had that big fight over. 385 level here. Got a little bit of a double top here. High 92.92. So we'll see what kind of ball it wants to play. Break of the 85, what we're looking for. So this high 392, can it start getting off of that level? 392 for a retest. Let's see what it wants to do here. Popping down a little bit. Will it break the 385s or will it be able to hold again? Looking for it to hold those 385s. Triple stack there on 380s. 385 level broke it. Yep, getting down there and touching the trend line. Will it break that trend down? You don't want to sell yet? Okay. Brave, brave man. We're gonna give we're gonna give one life of a gold star. This man is Rambo out here. I guess if you took enough profit one life, I mean that was a that was a, a 30 cent or um 40 almost a 40 cent run up so i know you took profit that's probably why you're willing to hold because you already took a lot of profit off but that 375 is pretty much the line in the sand Working its way up there slowly. Three seventy nine is a line in the sand for you. Well, now, yeah. Let's see what it wants to do. <clears throat> this one's got about five minutes on this fifteen minute candle.
Grom, what is it doing? Trying to curl, not interested. Let's go look at the spy as well. See if it's still dying today. Yep, dumping back down there. Um, DIA. Nice little dump off on it as well. So yeah, this is the sentiment of the market. Gotta get it how you live out here. Okay, so we have the 379 here as a possible out. If it can stay away from it. Five minutes left on this 15 minute candle. Wow. Running down there, 380s. Higher low, right on the trend line. Yeah, I'm just not liking this one. Volume is also, see, is it decreasing more? A little bit. That's crazy. 11 million shares up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it's breaking down. Just stopped out. Am I going to be streaming tomorrow? Yes, I am. In the morning. All right, so it did bounce up there. So we could use this as a risk here um, to get out. This is like a 10 cent risk. And I like it. Trying to get back a... Uh, Green on the day, green for it would be up here at the 397. Let's break the flag and run. <laughs> Possible. But man, this thing has been playing red to green all day. I don't like I don't like how uncertain it is on the day. Like it doesn't want to be green on the day, doesn't want to be red on the day. We've sat here for what, two hours? This thing still hasn't made a decision. Got up there and touched that trend line. But not. Let's see if it wants to hold. Still got two minutes left on this 15 minute candle. Hmm. About 30 seconds. Let's see what it wants to do in these next 30 seconds. Trying to hold up that 85 again. That was a struggle point at first. Will it drop below the 85s? Eighty five, eighty threes. Can it pop back above those eighty fives? Yeah, dumping a little bit. Um, like thirty seconds before this candle closes. Okay, so I'm sure one live got stopped out right there. Pretty sure. So continuing to be red on the day. Wanted to see it kind of come back and kind of 
reclaim some strength up there, especially with that catalyst. But now, I guess the old plan is in effect. Wait till it comes down <laughs> to one of these uh, quarter dollar levels. Twenty five supports. Three fifty, three twenty five, three dollars. Let's see you come on down. Not bad, not just not happy ending. Hey man, one life. You took you took some good profit there. If you took two thousand shares, man, on thirty cents, that's pretty good profit, you know. Or forty cents, really. Yeah, yeah, you good. You good. But either way it goes, you got in down here, so it was a green trade all the way around. I'm trying to see what it wants to do now. We got a, a big, big position there at the 75, 30,000 shares. Looks like it has failed the upward trend and is starting to kind of trade within a channel. Did not get to test those pre-market highs. So VLCN, it had its IPO today down now. Up. Let's see. VLCN. Hmm. What is this? Uh VLCN. It got halted. Oh, it's in a halt right now. Okay, let's see. What is it? VLCN. What kind of company is this? Mm, okay. All electric power sports, Volcan prices, IPO at top expected range. What is Volcan? E Power Sports. First, all electric off road power sports company. So I guess that's like four wheelers and go karts and uh, ATVs and things like that. Let's look at the company. Let me go look them up, Volcon. Blurring the line between utility and sport. They got a nice website. Hopefully it's secure. Let's see. Um yum, 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 yum. So yeah. Um Dirt bikes, ATVs, off-road vehicles. Hmm. Looks good. Do they have an investor page? Newsletter. International. Become a dealer. Do you have an investor's page? Volcon Investors. Volcon Partners invites investors to join in a round of public funding. That was back in 2020, though. So people are already in there. Um, is there anything from this year? I don't see anything else from this year dealing with investors. But yes, yeah, halted. What is resin? Not moving too nicely. That's crazy, man. Nothing wanted to play ball today. BYGR still struggling around that 75 point.
So yeah, I just let that play throughout the day. Maybe it'll uh find a, a new bottom. Maybe it'll double bottom down here at the 358, but I don't think it's going to give another push up like this, especially without being able to break out those pre-market highs. Key South Scarface. Um, hey, yeah, try to try to do do a a pretty good live stream viewing of the market and try to not lose money listening to DB. So you know, I, I succeeded at that today. Oh boy, he's about to cuss me out. So getting a little bounce here on this uh, 70 level. With the 15 minute man look how the volume went down boy 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 a million down to just just uh at a hundred thousand on the five minute it's got four minutes left though so maybe it'll ramp up so vlcn yeah did it come out of that halt when is it supposed to come out of that halt? VLCN 1131, so 113653. Should be very close. Yep, it's about to come out right now. Or not. Is that some type of 10 minute halt? Eleven thirty. Yeah, it should have opened up. This must be a ten minute hot on VLCN. Man, I need to create an Instagram. Oh, I've been dodging Instagram because Facebook keeps getting hacked. Oh. Oh, man. I'm going to have to get one. I'm going to have to get one and secure it myself. Because Facebook has been getting their boots knocked this past week. This past month, really. There, uh, that whistleblower was in trial yesterday, I believe, yesterday or the day before, um, pretty much telling telling all on Facebook, and so you know that affected Instagram and WhatsApp. But I'm gonna have to see, man. Do I want to? Do I want to lend Facebook my personal information? I have a super old Facebook page. Uh, it's like really, really old, like high school old, but uh could use that to make maybe transfer it into a fake account I don't know I don't know what I want to do with Facebook's products
drip, 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 drip. What is drip doing? What is drip? Uh, it's not volatile enough. I don't like it. Yeah, get rid of that. BYGR fell in this trend. Pushing on down through there. Staying red on the day. I usually don't trace stocks that are red on the day. Um, but this one was tempting. I almost almost uh did some things I shouldn't shouldn't be doing. Coming down to that flat bottom, 358. So it opened up, let's see, this beginning range was from the 333 up here to the 415. Then the range got smaller from the 358 up to the 407, so about a 40 cent run, and now Back down here to the 362. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be here tomorrow. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Um, today was a slaughterhouse across the board. Um, there was some opportunity, but nothing really met my criteria, so I did not trade it. Congratulations to One Life for taking his, uh, his nice gain out of the market today. But, uh, you know. Sometimes that's how it is. Mm -mm, that's how it is. I want to see how this thing is going to act in uh, later on today, though, because this is literally the beginning of the day. It's just now 1030. No, there's not an HH Trader Facebook page. No. Do I need to create one? I, I'm, I don't like Facebook. I'm not going to lie. Like Facebook, they continuously have security issues and... I don't know, man. I don't really trust Facebook. <laughs> then again, I'm skeptical of half the things that I put information into anyway. <laughs> no, you didn't miss anything, One Life. You good? I'm just gonna. I'm probably just gonna keep it on YouTube and uh tw and uh, Twitch for right now, cause I mean. You can basically do everything that you can that you uh can do on Instagram and everything. You can send me stuff. My emails on the uh on my channel or whatever in my about section. So if you want to send something, you can send it that way. But I mean, for the most part, I'm just live trading, doing a little bit every day, trying to make some money here and there. And uh yeah. But I like to keep it chill, man. I like to keep it chill. BYGR taking a nice little stab down there. Wonder could it get a bounce off of this low though? I don't know if I want to play that. It's a little bit risky. Uh, I do not have a Discord. I just got the uh, YouTube and the Twitch. Um, of course, we also have the the website uh, that I'm over there on Framework Fortune. I go on there sometimes and uh, put some some information out there. Um, but for the most part, I just I'm just chill, man. Whatever gets set up, gets set up. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. 
I, I spend I spend many hours looking at a computer that every day anyway, so it's like it's my life. Technology is my life. But one day I'm going to be like one life in DB and I'm just going to give up on everything and I'm just going to trade every day and take souls in the market. Did it break down? It's 360. 358. So it did, it did come down to that level. I don't know if I want to play that for a bounce. I don't know if it can bounce. It's so red on the day. I'm not going to play it. I'm going to be smart. Am I selling a course about VWAP? DB, DB, DB. You know, one day, I feel like we're going to have peace one day. But every single day, you choose violence. Every single day. You don't miss a day. Uh, how do I find uh, how do I find the trading halt time on Schwab? Uh, I'm not looking on Schwab. I'm looking over here on my browser. Let me show you the halt times over here. Uh, let me get that up. Come on, browser, bring it up here. Where's that browser? There we go. Okay, so. Let me show y'all this. Let me switch scenes to where is it? Where are you, browser? Browser? Yeah, yeah, here it is. So NASDAQ Trader Halt is where I'm checking those times at. Uh Charles Swab doesn't provide halt time. So I just keep this open while I'm trading so I can flip over here, see what's going on, and get on down. So it gives you basically anytime this updates, I think per it updates pretty quickly, I think per minute. And if it's not updated, you can just hit the refresh. But literally whatever is halted during that time, you'll see it here. And it'll show you, you know, the halt time. It'll show you the reason why it's halted. So if you see a T1, like T1, T2, you know, it's probably some kind of news coming out. Uh, LUDP is volatility halts. Um, M, I believe, is volatility as well. Yeah, M is volatility. Resumption time, quote time, all these, all this information. But yeah, that's where I'm checking the halt set. Back over to Street Smart Edge. Yeah, a lot of the informational stuff, I mean, because I like free, I just open up a little a little web website while I'm trading and just have it open. So when I see something halt or something like that, I just go out there and I know it's going to be there. Mm, BLC. Oh, did it open? Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a nasty rip. I forgot about this one. I literally forgot it was a 10 minute halt. Oh, well. All right, well, I'll, I'll watch it. Man, I missed that halt open, that halt resumption. That's a two dollar move out. But it is the middle of the day. It's almost eleven o'clock, so we will see. Um is there enough volume to continue pushing it? It's uh, got a million shares traded on it now. Got this little bottom of the 986. Man, this thing may open up and go just start doop, 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 just exploding, but I don't know.
Daniel B just made money, probably. All right, what time is this thing supposed to be opening? 11.46.59 was the halt time. So 11.51.59, I'll be looking for this one. And it's in about a minute. Not gonna take my eyes off of it this time. See what it wants to do. Hopefully it doesn't just open up at $15. That's going to be disastrous. All right, we got about 51 seconds. Let me make sure that I got that time right. Yes, 11.51.59. All right, so let's play the game. Let's see what it wants to do here. Ten seconds left. What you got for me? So it should have opened up there. So this must be another ten minute halt. All right. Ten minute halt coming. BYGR. <sighs> Did get through that bottom. I'm going to be watching this one all day. Fifty six fifty nine is what I'll be waiting on. Be right back. I'm going to use the restroom before this thing opens up.
see what it wants to do. Y'all still talking about any? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what this thing wants to do on this resumption. 5659. to the open how high is this thing gonna open up will it get some actual trading <laughs> Lauren I just got your email I'm gonna check them out Let's see 56 fit 40 uh 59. Should be opening up, giving a little bit of a dip there. See some more red. Nope. Ah, come on. Give me some red, man. Like it just wants to go higher. 30s. Hmm. This one's definitely a jumpy one. Can it pop down some? Off that 1430. A lot of shares being uh, moved there. Can it pop down? Or, oh, it's back halted. Oh my gosh, bro. It's not giving any chances. Let me go check these cookies out. Oh my goodness. You got a factory. Lauren, you got a factory. What in the world? Gee whiz. Yeah, that uh, VLCN just isn't giving, giving any opportunity. I was looking for a little bit more of a pullback, but it's just going up. So in that situation, what do you do, right? Well, I guess another 10-minute halt. Not giving me any, any kind of movement. Oh, you have five people in your house. Man, you feeding the whole village. Boy, boy, boy. They look so good. Mm, mm, mm. Why well, Thanksgiving at your house is so far? What the, 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 the. You look. No, I'm not gonna stay away from it, Tony. I'm uh, I'm looking for entries on that thing. I mean, it's it's getting more expensive, but still, there's there's uh, money to be made in there. I'm not going to just completely stay away from it, but I would like it to pull back and give an actual tradable entry because it's, it's not even, I mean, it's just, just hauling up. So how do you know like that when you're buying, it's not the high? You know what I'm saying? Like it's grinding up like that dollar, two dollar moves. And then you buy at the high at the fourteen thirty, and then all of a sudden the flush. I need some kind of confirmations on that. <laughs> One 
when when neither of your parents' religions believe in birth control, two things happen. Uh, when you're the you're the oldest girl, you wait until you're 29 to have your first kid, and you learn how to cook. Oh man. No, one life. I'm not talking about pullback trading as in getting in right on a pullback. I'm talking about giving some consolidation level uh, one life. But right now, there is no consolidation. There is no. It's just just grinding up. That's why I didn't didn't get in on that last one. It just didn't give an opportunity. Let's see. Is this supposed to be a five minute or a. Eleven fifty seven was the halt area, so twelve. Ten oh two thirty four. We should be opening up in a minute if it's a uh, five minute halt. So it just opened up or no, did it? No, it hasn't opened up yet. Um, we're waiting, gave a little pull back here and got bobbled up, but it's just not giving any kind of tradable situation. And it has no real pattern uh, uh, other than just going up. Yes, J. Kratz, back up. I, I need I need the rocket back down, man. It's I mean it's got plenty of range. It moved down here from the seven dollars up here to the fourteen. Oh, just opened up. All right, let's see the smash and dash. Letting it get some trading into it. It's only it's not even to two million shares traded yet. So let's see what it can do. Halted up here and opened up like halfway down the bar. So very volatile stock here. Waiting for the, did it just halt again? Oh, I was about to say chill, man. Will it show us some red at any point here? Look at the sizes. Like, look how small the sizes are here trading this. 200 shares, 100 shares. Wow, wow, wow. Very small share size up here. Let's see if those shorts start to come in. Just reached 2 million shares traded. We see a big red flush here. Why are the sizes so small? Look at this. Wow. So where do you enter? I'm going to let this thing play. Um, I can't do anything with this right now. The spread is 30 cents wide. Looking for some red, man. I can't do, I, I can't, I can't. Okay, can you give us some red? Trying to give us a little bit of red. Volume absolutely drying up on this bar. 
Where those bars at? Not really getting much red here. Whew. Big, big rips up and down. 75 cent rips right there, up and down. All right, there's a nice little pump down there. Okay, is it hot to going down now? Uh, yep, halted going down now. So we will see what it wants to do. Yeah, this thing is this thing is very very volatile. Seven dollar rip. The halfway point maybe is like. The ten dollars. What is half halfway between fourteen and seven? I don't know. I wanted to see some red, some bigger red bars to kind of get some of that selling out because, I mean, think about how quickly you have to take profit in in those situations. It's not giving you any time. Think about if you're using the one minute. Instead of the five minute, how big those swings are. Go to the one minute. This is what it looks like on the one minute. So a pop on a one minute candle from the twelve twenty nine up to the fifteen dollars. That is insane. The one minute actually looks really bad. That's a $3 pop on a one minute candle on 200,000 shares traded. See, if I was trading with the one minute like I used to, I probably would have took some of those trades and probably would have got my back blown out. <laughs> yeah, one life. That's insane. A three dollar rip on a one minute candle with two hundred. That's yeah. I'm gonna let that one, you know, figure out some stuff. All right. What time is it supposed to be opening back up? It's halted at the 12.06.13. Should be opening up at the 12.11.13. 12.11.13. We'll see what it wants to do. Well, cold, uh, put that little rip up there. It's an inverse uh, ETP, I believe. Acer is rocket shipping up. Okay. What in the world? So we got some stocks waking up out here. 1280 up to the 304. What was Acer? Acer had um, FDA acceptance of their uh, their pharmaceutical that's supposed to treat urea cycle disorders. Urea cycle disorders. What is our boy VYGR doing down there? Forming a bottom on that three fifty. Hmm. 
Still not trusting it. Annie um, is also preparing for something. Let's see what it's doing. Annie's got a nice curl right there. Um, okay. So Annie is looking okay. Got a top of the 756. That may become a problem for it. It's been quite flat. Okay. Something must be, what is, what's wrong with Annie? Why is it not here? Okay, yeah, I'm not going to do that to myself. Six sixty up to the six, so ten cent move, seven to the ninety, uh, about a twenty cent move. Okay, also uh, let's keep an eye out here uh, for BLCN, which opened up. Could use this as a bottom. Let's see what it wants to do here. Uh, the red on this candle is 1245, which just got hit. I may play this one small, if anything, because it is not playing around. Not playing around at all with this consolidation. Got three minutes left on this uh, 15 minute candle. Still well within the body of this last candle. The volume on this candle is about the same as the last one. See if they can break down at 1250. May look for small plays here. I got in very small there. Just uh, five shares. See if it can rip out of here. If so, that will be great. Add a little bit more there. See if we can stay above these levels. Back out here, only in 10 shares. I'm gonna let it play here. If it can rip, we will see. What's this 11.29 in there, 10 shares. Six and put my out down here. Bottom here is the high low of the eleven thirty. Eleven thirty.
Can we get any push up? Go ahead and put a stop order out there for 1130 on these 10 shares. Never mind, no stop orders can be accepted on this one. See what these 10 shares can do. Need to see those 75s hold, not seeing it. Waiting and watching. Will it do anything with this 10 shares or not? Not seeing it. And we see the 40s come up there, 13, 40s. Forties. Fifties, either it's going to go or it's not. Low eleven thirty. Got a minute left on this uh, five minute candle. Not seeing it break, so losing patience. Thirty seconds left. Trying to let it play ball a little bit. Okay, 1443, is that it? 14, ooh, getting a little slam. I may have to get ready to take some here. What in the world is that? Okay, can we uh, continue up a little higher? 37, can we see over the 40s? If we can see the 40s, then I'll be looking to take because this one's getting a little uh, iffy here. 
Okay, there's the 40s. Ooh, immediate rejection. 70s, 90s, very quick pops here. Can we blast out of those 90s into the 15s? I'll be taking. There we go, taking, taking. Looking for a continuation, just did not get it there. Taking, down to seven shares. Uh, taking on that. Can we get over those 80s and start to hold? 80s, down to six shares. Let's see if we can get a pop. Taking on that weakness. Five shares left. Got to get over the 80s. 80s, can we get the 81s? 87s, 15. Need to get over that 15. 95s. Can we see the 96s? Not seeing it. 75s. Can we get that 15 pop? Slowing down. I'm going to take a little bit more there. Just to lock in. Four shares left. I was looking for the break over the 15. There's a 15.10. If we can get a pump up there, I'll take a little bit more. I'm only holding four. 1550, can we touch it again? 40s, taking a little bit up there. 1550s, 15. Back below the 1525, I don't want to see that. Okay, taking a little bit there below the 25. Needs to hold up the 25 here. 22s back below the 15 I don't want to see I'll take holding one share don't want to see a dump here it's back below the 15s taking all there I'm not gonna play with it whatever all right so I took that little profit I just on that weakness I, I can't play those types of games Got up to the 15, 40s, took some, took some all the way up there, but very risky play. 10 shares. We'll see what kind of action it wants to give us now. Will it break down that 14.25? Hmm. You know, a little buying pressure there. I'm willing to play small. Looking for those 15s to break. Sixty-two. Can we see the seventy-fives up there? Fourteen eighty-nine. Very quickly got removed. Seventy-fives getting blasted there. Can we see the seventy-fives hold? Saw the seventy-fives very quickly. Play small. Play small. Can we see a break of the fifteen? Seventy-five on the bid. Could not. Get up there and hold that 15, though. 73 is looking a little heavy on the tape. I see a bunch of red. 1508s. Yeah, I see a lot of red here. Not liking it. Nineties, can we get those ninety fives to start to hold? It's working its way even under. There it is. All right, so can we get the fifteens to own the bid? Fifteens, not seeing it. Ninety ones, saw the fifteens very quickly and then off. Fifteen thirteen, can we get that jump over it? There was a fifteen oh sevens. Not seeing it hold those 15s. A lot of red there. I don't like this, so I'm going to sit on my hands for a little bit. I don't like the way that it just struggled around there. It can go without me if it wants to. Waiting and watching.
1492s. 1492s there it may double top here or it may just go ahead and ramp up but i just don't like the pattern 1480s throwing a wick down there to the downside very quick mm. yep Sitting on my hands. Let's see how far this thing falls. 1450. Waiting and watching. 1455 on the bid, so it can drop quite a bit here. Looking like it's gonna get a nice little red move down here. If it can break that, yeah, there it is. Breaking that 40 on the bid. I mean the 50 on the bid. Can it stay below it? 42s. Can it push out of the 40s into the 30s? There's the 30s. 43s. Mm, come on and push down. Push down, push down. While it's doing that, let me check out the chat. Um, Yeah, dangerous stock movement. Let it burp the worm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I knew I was trading up top. That's why I sized down up there. There's no point of taking uh too big of a size up there. Um, I was just looking for a little pop out with that little volatility. But we will see now if we can enter again somewhere. Where is the new bottom? We got Grom doing some things under there. Cold, did it end up pulling back? Nope. Resetting up for another move higher on the natural gas. Acer, A-C-E-R. Don't call me. Um, A-C-E-R pulling back there. Resin. Still doing his thing. What is that other one, V-Y-G-R doing? All right, it's just basing right there. I don't like it. Looking like it wants to make another move down. So V-L-C-N it is. Kind of slowing down here. Volume was just 500,000 and now it's down to 215 on this red candle. I guess it's trying to make a decision what it wants to do. I think it's got some more movement down in it. Fourteen tens. Can it retest that fourteen level? Fourteen, I believe, will be red on this candle. Thirteen ninety two. So thirteen ninety two is red on this fifteen minute candle. About to close this five minute candle up in a couple of seconds. Twenty seconds. Mm. All right, dumping down there under the 14. See if we can dump any more on this candle. Come on, you know you got some more movement down in you. Get under that 14. The bid is at the 1382, so it can definitely fall a little bit. Not working. It needs to get and start holding that 1375. 
but I just see, I just think it has a little bit more motion down here. 1286 is the bottom of this candle. We will see. Okay, getting under the body, or it was under the body of this candle, 1364, still very volatile. Um, still a 30 cent spread down here. So very, very volatile stock. Breaking down those 13s. How far will this bad boy break down? How far will you go? Trying to hold this bottom here. 1282 is the bottom that is trying to stay above. Let it pull back just a bit more. Look for some quick scalps on it because it looks like it's uh, reaching the backside of its move, and plus, it's lunchtime. So, whoever took profit, this, this volume has fell off a lot. A whole lot. Thirteen twenties. Will it go ahead and crash the thirteen? Thirteen twenty. Looking, waiting, watching. Thirteen fifties. Can we start to hold those thirteen fifties real quick? Um, this one has ooh has a quite a bit of time before the next fifteen minute candle closes. So yeah, I'm still gonna be practicing sitting on my hands. Waiting and watching. Let's check these other ones real quick. Chrome. Cold. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Resin and then the other one. Why? Uh, VYGR came down here and checked this level again, but it has not done any checking of anything higher. All right. VLCN. What does it want to do here? Got a full almost 10 minutes, 10 minutes to go on this 15 minute candle. So it can definitely dump quite a bit. previous top so the first top that it broke was a 983 that may be a little bit of support then we got the 9 or 1175 that may be a little bit of support and then where else ah, that was only two that I'm looking at right now we'll see if we can get a bounce off of any of that Looks like the candles are getting a little bit smaller to the upside. 
not seeing those wide green bars anymore yet. Let it sell off a bit. Volume decreased a whole lot from these uh, other ones. We haven't even seen a million shares traded on any of these bars. Grom. Acer, back down. Giving a little bit of a pop back. We'll see. Is this bottom here a new support level? Right above that 12 on the 15 minute. How is that going to hold up? 12, 17. Draw a support line there. Thirteen fifty, you know, a little jump up there. What's the top side of this? The body fourteen up there, so it could give another little scooch up there if possible. But I want to wait to this fifteen minute. Oh, guess who's calling? Hello. 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 What's up, man? Yeah, I'm still streaming. I'm trading some uh, IPO stock. The market was bloody. Yeah, you couldn't hold anything today. You would have got absolutely. Um, it's at four twenty nine right now. The spy and the DIA is at the three thirty nine, but. You know, it's just been a one of those uh, another bearish sentiment day. Yeah, man, en enjoy yourself and uh, you know, yeah, don't don't even think about the market. Hey, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back in a little bit. I'm literally uh watching this thing, watching this thing for entries. Got you. Hey, burn that gas up, man. All right. Bye bye. All right. Let's see. I'm going to back up there a little bit. Uh, 1395 could be a very quick scalp. Could play a small here. And then I could risk the bottom here. What's the bottom? 1276. That's kind of a drop, but I think it'll be okay. Looking, but it's going back red. 390, 1399. I will play this one small, small. Can it show me green again? for a quick little pop out over those 65s. Don't see the 65s on the bid. Sixty, can we get some sixties on the bid? Fifty fours. Hold. 
holding up a little bit. There's 65, but don't see it on the bid. Okay, falling down there. Was looking for 65 to hold. Going back a little bit red there. Okay, bouncing back up. Oh, bigger bounce down. Not seeing it. I'm going to give it some time. This bar continues to get a little bit bigger as well. 1359, 1360. Can we get that 1360 back up there? 1360s. Thirteen forties, thirteen fifty nine. Can get those fit. Uh, couldn't get the thirteen sixties to hold on the bid. Maybe it'll retry. Thirteen sixties. Can we see it? Nope. Another retry. 1350s. Get in small. Can we see that 60? Looking on the tape as well for the 60s. Not seeing it. Okay, can we retry again? 1344 is looking for those 60s. Fifties, can we see 60s? Not seeing the 50s on the bid. Seeing the 46s, 54s, okay, saw the 60 very quickly, <sighs> get over the 50s, 1350 is what we're looking for on the bid, nope, couldn't get it, coming back down, Maybe it'll retry again. It's got one minute left on this 15 minute candle. Could not, could not do what I was looking for. Coming back under the 20s, 13, 20s, 13, 11s, and continuing to uh, push back towards the 12. Popping up there. Only looking for a small position. Cause this thing is moving big. I need to see it back over the fifties. Don't see the thirties coming in. Thirteen thirties on the bid. Not seeing it. About to close this candle in just a moment. It's been trying to go down. I think it may make another move up. So the risk level here um, have to be the 13 breakdown. Should be coming out with another candle here. There it is. Okay, can we get those 50s up there? Any buying pressure through here? Oh my gosh, look at the volume. It's dropped off the map. This may be a fake, but I don't know. Who knows, right? I can just play it small. 
let's see what we got here. 50, looking for that 1350. For a quick little buy up. Can we get that 30, 31 for a quick scalp? Not seeing it, not seeing it. Top of this high is the 43. Pulling red to greens, green to reds, all that. Selling volume, all the volume going. And the candle has gotten tighter. So just waiting and watching. Seeing if we can get that 1330 up there for a quick little pop up for another try. There's the 1330s. There it is. In there, looking for a little push out, and I'll be out. Looking for that break of the 50 to take some profit. Only 15 shares. Uh, what's this? Breakdown low of the 1307. Looking for a little push, and I'm gonna be taking. Little push over the 51. That's all I need. Come on, buddy. I'm ready to dump any second if it doesn't want to go. Past the 30, let's say the 25, I'm going to have to get out on the bid. 25 is what I'm looking for on the bid to get out. 55s. Okay, can we push any more? Push up there. 51s, 58s. Can we get this push out here? All right, not seeing it. Come on. You got to push that 60. Can we get the 51s up there? 53s. Sixty fours. Not not holding there. Well, looking like I'm gonna have to get on down. Uh, looking like 70s. Not seeing the push there. Can we get the 75s up there? 13.25 on the bid. I gotta get out. Twenty fives. Oh yeah, that was it. All right, so I took that little jump down there. Still looking for more, more entries. I'm not done. Took a little dump there. Getting that bottom touch. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Will it dump any more? That's a nice little dump off there. Popping down. Can we get going back green? <sighs> Try to go down a couple of times. Can we hold up the 13s? He's coming out for the, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we start getting up and getting going? 
We got a top side 334. Okay. 316. Can we get the 320s up there? Not seeing the 320s wanting to come. Okay. Very quick up there, in and out. Saw the 20s very quickly. This one, I don't know. This one may be a, be getting ready to rip down. Tried to give it time, but just not looking like it wants to play ball. Three thirty thirteen thirty eight. All right, peace out, one life. I did that yesterday. Had to cut the grass, man. Get it on down. Looking for this thing to change colors. Start showing some green here. Where are those buyers? Will there be any more buyers? If I, can we see the 13, 15s come up there? 13, 15s, can we see it? Thirteen fifteens. Okay. There's a thirteen twelves. Thirteen twenties. Nice and flat for us. Let's let this go green. Can it go start going green here for another move up? Not seeing the 15s hold on the bid. Thirteen tens on the bid. Does it want to get up and get going again or not? I guess failing. Can we see the 15s? 13, 15s? Come on. Show me. Show me, show me, show me. There's a 16. 15s very quickly in and out. 17s. I like that. Go ahead and take there. Uh, the out will be uh, down here. What's this bottom? 12.69. If it doesn't want to go here. Looking, waiting, watching. Can we get any buying here? Nope. Out there. Ooh, got out a little bit before that dump. Yeah, this one's this one's gonna take my soul. I can't play with this one. Grown popping up there as well. Acer popping up there. Everything's popping. Yep, yep, yep. This is the movie news. I don't really want to trade that one. Looking, waiting, watching. Can't believe that thing failed like that. Went down there and bounced again. I got to wait till this closes. It's got five minutes to close on this candle. On this 15 minute. I believe it's got more to go up. It's holding over this previous uh level here that I had marked here of the 12. And I'm still willing to play it. But I'm willing to play it small. Five minutes left on this candle. Let this whole five minutes play out. Grum getting on up there as well. I just realized it's 12 o'clock. A 
Acer double topped. This move was from the 4, 430 up here to the 534. I'm still more interested in this VLCN for a move out. Four minutes left on this candle. Okay. I like it. Can it go green on the 15? Couple minutes left. Snapping down there. Four minutes left, less than four minutes. So let's zoom back and see what kind of, can we tell anything? I mean, it's it's just hard to see any kind of pattern or anything here. Kind of curled over. It's got the ability to pop over this 1328. It's just not, uh, not having that motion there. Grome, nice little pullback. A little bit cheaper stock as well. So I may have to go and look at uh, Grome or Acer. Grome will probably be the one. <sighs> Three minutes left on this one. Come down, bounced on VWAP, come down, bounced on VWAP. Could it do a bounce up, at least to the 1380s? I see a 1291 there. Can it start to hold those? Yep, I'm seeing it. Hmm. I'm seeing it, but I don't want to get trapped may take a little bounce here it's already checked on vweb twice seeing the 13 dollars there can it go green on the 15 minute yeah looking like it can snapping back down a little bit there one minute left until the close of this candle All right, peace out, you guys. Probably gonna take like one more trade and just be done. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. 30 seconds left on the, to the close of this candle. Looking like it wants to go green. Can it snap down? There's a little snap down right there. Be patient. Literally 15 seconds left on this candle. Got a top side of the 1334. About to close this candle here. Okay. Okay, 1315 is what I'm looking for. Can we get that up there? Going red a little bit. 1321. Can we get a push to the 21s? 21. I like it. Entering there to see if we can get a little push off here. It's tried multiple times here. 
I'll give it a chance to get to, let's see, 1280 will be my out. Giving it another chance. Wow, really? You're going to do it like that? Can we start holding those 13, 15s? Just need to see those 13, 26s. Giving it time, giving it patience. Looking like it doesn't care. Got a bottom down here, 1280. 1320 on the ask. 1320, can it pull down to the 1315 on the ask? 1315, I'm going to have to go ahead and bow out. Getting a little crazy. Not being able to get out of there. So looking like I'm going to need to cut this loss here. 1280 had a decent curl but just not giving me what I'm looking for can we see those 1303s start to come in volume has died off above the VWAP Let's see if we can get any kind of movement upwards before it slams down. 13 10s, kind of getting bought there. Still got a full 15 or a full uh, couple of minutes to go, whatever it is. Looking for above that 1315. A little bit of buying pressure coming in there on the 15 minute. Just a little bit. Not much though. Thirteen thirties. Is that it? Okay, thirteen fifties, getting a little punch there. Can we go higher or not? Nah? Is that it? We got a high up here of the 1375. So we'll see if we can make that my out. 1375. See the 1325s. Can we get past the 25s on the bid? Thirteen fifties. Can we get the fifty ones? Apparently not. So let's see. The twelve ninety three right now is the out. It's gonna have to push out of here hard, if possible. Ooh, that thing opened up low. How'd it do that? Come on, man. Be out 1290. Will it show red or green? It's ugly little pattern there. Don't like it. Can we get those 28s up there? to start holding. See the 28s on the bid, not seeing them. 
See a little bit of 28s, but it's not holding up. It may be over. Need to see those 40s very quickly. 41s, can we get them? Nope. Wow. All right. Break of the bottom, 1290s, I'm out. Got to get out here. Twelve nineties. Matter of fact, the break of the thirteen may be a better out. Yeah, I do the break of the thirteen here. Thirteen eleven. Looking like it's getting close. Needs to pull back up if it's going to do it. Barely moving. See a bunch of 11s. I see a lot of sell positions. See the 1302 on the bid. May start cracking down here. If I see that 1301, I'm probably gonna jump. Jump out. Thirteen oh one. Okay. Thirteen oh two getting heavier here. And I don't like the 15 minutes, so I think I may start uh, at least exiting some of the position. It's not looking good for me. Can we get any green to push over that 1316? Any more tests down like that, I'm going to have to go ahead and get out. Either buyers are going to come in or they're not. There's a 1334. Wow, immediately down. All right, so we got a bottom. Oh yeah, I need to jump out. I'm gonna go ahead and jump out there. Yeah, I'm not going to play that game today. Did Grom end up going down? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I just, not a lot I can do with that. It held there for a while, but I just felt like it was going to dump on me. Got close. Let's see, we need to start seeing some buying volume come in here. Thirteen twenty fives. Can we get the twenty fives on the bid? See thirteen twenty nines. Sometimes you got to try multiple times because it will definitely fail you. I just don't want to get caught in a failure. Can we see those 25s? Okay, so that's scary. Got an indecision within the body of the previous green candle. Uh, is this a double top high 350, high 348? Could it possibly break that? I see the 26 on the bid. Can it get pulled back up here to the 21?
Grom moving up to the upside. I thought it dived off. Uh, just a smaller range. I like those big range stocks. Those are the those are the meat and bones. BYGR is doing what a uh, Arcat did to me. Started leveling out, and then I bought, and then it went lower. Okay, so got the 31 up there. Do like it. So I am willing to play this one. I'm in there. Looking for a push higher if possible. Entry was a 1343. Looking for a quick pump out. And we get those 50s up there. Bottom of this, yeah, that was a very quick pump out. 1315. That's where I'm looking to get out. Or actually, uh, what's this? 1295. Really, bro? I tell you what. Literally. Trying to get out of there. All right. Break of the uh, 1320 on the bid. I'm going to have to get on down. If it wants to play that type of game. 1320. It's going to break it. So 40, 49. Can we get the 50? There's a 60. All right, so now we're in an okay position. 75. Can we get any more? To the 14, possibly. 82s, 84s, nice. All right, so we'll see what that 25 shares can do for us. Oh, come on, man. Don't snap down. All right, getting a little snappy. I may have to take profit on this one. It's just not looking like I like it. Break of that 1320, though, I will be out no matter what. Looking for those 50s to start to hold because they can snap down back to the 40s real quick. Come on. Get a little push. Let me get those uh, 50s up there. Hmm. Okay. 13.30, I may have to jump ship. Looking, waiting, watching. 13.30 on the bid. 37. 33s. Don't want to see the 29s or the 30. I see the 1308s. That doesn't look good. This thing can dive down to the 1308s. I'm seeing the 25s up there. Needs to hold those 30s. Yeah, this isn't looking good. If it shows me any red, I may have to go ahead and jump out of this one. Need to see it back over the 40s quickly. If it can do it. Thirty fours, thirty one, thirty one, thirty one, no buyers, thirty seven, need to see it back in the forties. Okay, thirteen forty eight. Can we get the 50s? Let's see the 32s, 33s. I jumped out of there right there on that. Uh, I didn't like what was happening over here on the tape. Looking like it's going to crack down. 
you're going to crack down, crack down. Tape definitely got me right there. All that red, all those 25s, not trying to eat that lunch. Yep, there's a crack down. All right, Grome, what are you doing here? What's the risk here? It's got a top side up there. Oh, I gotta wait again. What was the other one? VYGR. Yeah, I don't trust that one at all. It's crazy, man. That thing got up there. Just couldn't give me what I wanted. So I'm going to leave VLCN alone. Tired of getting bullied by it. Try out Grown. Why is it not showing up? There it is. All right. So Grum, what do you want to do? Ripped up here from the uh, 429. Looks like it wants to go even higher. Chill out, bro. <sighs> Come on back down. At least Grom still has some pretty good volume on it. I may be looking to play this one. Wow. Throwing a wick up there. Can it snatch down? Get those 35s tested. Getting pushed up there. Yeah, it's gone. I can't enter up here. It's too high. Mm. Oh. Whatever. Too high for me. Probably should have focused on this one, but either way it goes, I would have had to wait because it took off before I knew it, and then... Um, is up here playing around with the 550 break and it's got a resistance up there the 675 I'm gonna let it pull back right now it's just too high it's gone it's gone Fifty. Yep, this thing is going. Yep. What kind of movie is this, man? To get this kind of push. I don't even think it's about the movie. It's about it being low float and people just uh, buying, buying what has the most volume. Yeah, 
Yeah, this thing absolutely ran out of volume there. I saw it and I called it, but I didn't listen to myself. I was like, this thing's going down in volume. Let me stick my hand back in the fire. Wrong, giving a nice little pull back. Can it pull back near to these levels here? 525-ish. So I believe it's still got a lot in it. Fall through the floor. Things looking like it's got a little indecision there. Come on and pull back. Yep. Cannot take this trade up this high. Need to see it fail. Whew, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I completely missed that trade. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that happens sometimes. Nothing over here to be seen. Got to wait for a pullback. That was a move from the for the five dollars up to the five seventy three, I think I got my, I think I got tunnel vision on that um VLCN for a little bit, because this one is at the top of the watch list over here, this whole time, just ignored it. That would have definitely been a nice little run up there. Coming on back down now, nice little pullback. What am I realized gains and losses? I bet that thing ripped a lot. Wow. Yeah, it ripped a lot off of my uh, gains. That thing was falling 75 cents per fall. Yep. What did I end up losing today? I think I lost like maybe 20 bucks. Yeah, 22 bucks. All right, this one is coming on down. So that's 511. Then it's also got one at the 489. I can put both of these as supports and see where it ends up bouncing if it doesn't just drop through the floor.
All right, Lauren, be safe. Yes, I lost on VL, VCN. It ripped down. It ripped down seventy five cents on me. Like literally, I pressed the pressed the uh, sell button. It's ripping, and you couldn't use stops on uh. I can't use stops on um, VLCN. So it was just you know I had to actually hit the button to get out. This was the the rip down I was telling you about. This is just uh, nasty little rips here. These two pretty much did it. But I'm, I'm all good. 22 bucks isn't bad. It's not the end of the world. Grown. Glad I did not buy high. They actually got fleeced. This one's still marching down. May or may not be done for the day. But it looks like, as of now, it looks like it is. K-O-L-D. Oh, yeah, man. Get your grub, man. Get your food. Chrome. Can it hold up either one of these levels? It's got one at the 490. And one up here at the 515. This will probably be the last trade of the day. Pretty sure. Because I got to go give me something to eat. Plus, I don't want to spend all my money today yeah this one had a nice little run but it may be done got up here to these highs again Not seeing much else moving. BLCN. It's got two minutes left on this candle. Got a little bottom candle here. The top side is 1352. It's checked off VWAP a couple of times and not been able to break it. One uh one two three times now got a minute left on this candle see the breakdown of this selling pressure but still when the market is green uh again will you be taking bigger size uh you win more than you lose you would kill it yeah i know that but i mean the thing is for me size the the sizing of these positions is what i'm focused on it's the strategy itself because i have work that i do i don't need trading for you know to pay bills and things uh so to risk to increase the risk it's just pointless to me um right now i got too many other that's the thing when you have when you have passive income coming in why 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 i can i can play with these stocks all day long but i keep my risk managed and as long as you make more than you spend per month you're still going to be green each month you know what i'm saying so i just don't see a point in um increasing the risk why I'd be losing 600 700 800 dollars if i don't need to i just don't see the point now of course it may be entertaining but i really don't care about 
how people view the capital that I make with my work. So, you know, I'm like, look, I'm going to work on strategy, work on consistency, and that's about it. You know, I don't know if you've ever studied prop traders or any kind of professional traders, but I mean, that's one of the 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 bare minimum things that you work on strategy consistency strategy consistency and as long as your losses are small i mean they're irrelevant like 22 dollars it's like eh, you know eh. but on those days when we do get rippers like actual rippers that actually moving very very volatile you don't even need big size to make good money you can take 50 shares and make 300 bucks so that's that's what I'm looking for. That's that's the kind of stocks I look for. Get that get that cuz the the thing that I've learned and I don't know if you watched the other last rip episode, but with these volatile stocks, no matter you're taking huge size, 2000 shares or 50 shares, the the mo the amount of money that you're going to make is still more than you started the day off with, way more. Especially with one like uh we were watching, I don't even know what the float was on a uh, V VLCN or if there's a float any yet but with that kind of volatility 50 shares that's like 50 to 100 dollars quick but uh VLCN I, I don't even know what the float is that's probably why it slowed down a lot uh I don't even know the float is posted anywhere but yeah I'm done with that one anyway this one Grom got a nice little pullback off this level What can we do with groom? Groom. And that's another thing about live streaming. You know, um, people people see you trading everything, but like, I guess, I don't know. I guess people will like be like, oh, this is your only thing that you do. No, no, it's not. Do a lot. I do a whole lot. But uh yeah. And because I do a whole lot is the reason that I have free time to do this. So in the time that's not free, I work my butt off. And then in the time that's free, I can chill. Thursday. That one's bouncing on down there. BLCN bouncing on down there. So, yeah, I'll probably just come back tomorrow. Uh, I got to go give me something to eat. Oh, boy. Look at VYGR there. Now, this is what this is what RCAT was doing the other time when I entered RCAT under the, uh, under the VWAP. It had based out here, came up the VWAP, Based higher, based higher, got all the way up the VWAP and then slam for the rest of the day. So I'm not going to fall for that on this one. I'm going to wait uh, maybe until tomorrow. And I'll keep it on the watch list to just watch it because it has good news. But today is a nice red day and it's already uh, tested these highs. So 
I'm not going to fall for that this time. Uh, if it rips, oh well. Uh, it's only $3. I can get in anytime. Still got $2,100 left to trade. So I will be watching and waiting on that one. This one's coming down here to this uh, nice little double bottom. Why does Grom keep doing that? Nice little double bottom. Why does it keep? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, man. I'm going to see y'all. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. I'll be back. Uh, i let this 2100 roll over to tomorrow. 22 bucks today. Uh, still green on the week. So I'm okay with that. And um, let's go ahead and shut it down. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hopefully tomorrow will be less of a bearish sentiment and um, I have some actual low flows and not an IPO to trade. <laughs> I did play around with the IPO a lot. Um, why is Grom coming up here like this? What is Grom trying to do? It double bottom down here. 491. Yeah, I'm done. I'm going to call it a day. Food is calling my name. So peace out, everybody. Don't forget to hit the like. I forgot to say that at the beginning. Don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.